United Arab Emirates. Where is it? The United Arab Emirates UAE covers about 83,600 square kilometers of the Arabian Peninsula, which is in the Middle East. The Middle East is an area is the area where Arab Africa and Asia meet. Saudi Arabia and Oman border the UAE. A small part of the UAE's coast lies coast lies directly on the Indian Sea. The rest runs along the per- Persian Gulf, which is called the Arabian Gulf by the people in the region. In all, the UAE has 1,318 kilometers of coastline. The UAE is made up of seven Arab states. Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Iman, Ual, Kiwan, Wayne, Ras al Khima, and Al Fujira. Each state has its own capital city, which shares the name of the state. The country's capital city is Abu Dhabi, which lies on an island in the Gulf. Abu Dhabi is the UAE's second largest city. Its history dates back to 3000 BCE. Abu Dhabi blends in blends its our ancient culture with the modern buildings. Beautiful white domed ma, ma mosaic mosques and shining skyscrapers decorate the city. Northeast of Al Abu Dhabi is the country's largest city, Dubai. A center for banking, trade trade and tourists. It is home to the world's large tallest building, the largest dancing fountain and one of the largest human made islands. People while millions of people live in the UAE, most are not citizens. People from all people from over other countries make up a large part of the UAE's population. Most of these people came from the came from other Arab countries or from South Asia to work in the country's successful oil and construction industries. UAE citizens called Emirati from Arab tribes that settled in the area long ago. Though these tribes have often fought, many share certain traditions. For example, they prefer traditional Arab clothing. <coughs> the light the light the lightweight clothing honors their culture and provides comfort in the high meat heat. For men, traditional clothing is a long white cotton, cotton ankle length rope, a head covering and a light scarf, either white or red checkered. Women, women have two kinds of traditional clothing. At home, they may wear a dress with loose pants. Outside, they wear a dark robe and cover their head, and sometimes also their face, with a scarf for both red men and women. Head coverings are a sign of respect for their religion. <coughs> People from the UAE share, share the religion of Islam. Muslims make, make up 75% of the population. Arab, Arabic is the official language, but but most people also speak local di- dialects because many people move to UAE from other countries. Other languages are common, especially English. Most people live in cities and towns along the UAE coast. Due to the success, due to the success of the oil industry, the country has grown rich. Builders have put up apartment buildings. Schools, hospitals, roads for the people who work for their compa- companies. Land. On the coast, the UAE is hot. In the east, 
the ha the Hajar Mountains rise two thousand meters. The country gets very little rainfall. However, the little it gets, ten to fifteen centimeters per year, falls in the mountains because the mountains are just a small part of the UAE. The rest of the UAE is almost entirely made up of desert, which is even harder. Desert temperatures may reach forty nine degrees Celsius. Winds from the north sometimes carry dust and sand. Some of the world's largest sand dunes are found in the UAE's deserts. Most of the desert is dry and tough, but an oasis allows some relief. An oasis is a fertile spot in the desert where water is usually found and plants and animals may live. The largest oasis, Al Ain. Lies in the middle of the city of Al Ain, about one hundred sixty kilometers east of Abu Dhabi. In the desert, plant life is limited to thin grasses and bushes, but in the oasis, date palms, alfalfa, alfalfa, mangoes, and other crops grow. These spots also support desert animals, including Arab Arabian. Oryx, Gordon's wildcat, sand fox, and sand, and sand and mountain gazel, gazelles. However, hunting has put some animals in danger. People had to help out to save the Arabian oryx, which is not protected. History. People have lived in the Arabian Peninsula for thousands of years. Groups settled in the area and began to follow the region of Islam around the 600 CE. <coughs> in the 1500s, the Gulf became a route of ships for ships between Europe and the Far East. The ships carried goods that countries traded. In the 1700s, the Arab states that make up what is today the UAE began to form. These groups fought for control of the Gulf. Sometimes they attacked British trade ships. Britain fought back to control the area and made peace with Sheikhs she or leaders. In 1820, the Sheikhs agreed to stop fighting at sea. In the mid 1900s, Bin Shahi allowed British oil companies to look at the land. In 1958, one of these companies found oil in Abu Dhabi. The area quickly became wealthy. In the years to follow, oil was found. Oil was also found in other states. Oil companies quickly began drizzling and soon discovered that the area held. More oil and natural gas than other places in the world. In 1968, Britain left the states, decided to form federation. Six Arab states formed in the UAE in 1971. The final seven states joined in 1972. The Trucal states had gained independence from Britain. When war broke out in 1980 with the neighboring countries of Iran and Iraq, yeah, Iraq fighting, fighting put ships loaded with oil in danger in the Gulf. The UAE, along with several other Middle East countries, joined the Gulf Comp Cooperation Council. GCC in 1981 to keep the area safe. <coughs> Landmarks, palaces, and fly, fly, flashy tourist attractions made up the things you see in the United Arab Emirates. Emirates. The Sikhi Said Grand Mos Mosque is one of the most beautiful UAE landmarks. Sheikh Said helped make money for the UAE while celebrating its culture. The mos the mosaic is a symbol of Islam, which tre which which teaches 
respect, love, and peace. Emirates Palace, though not home to loyalty in the, in the landmark of Arab culture, in a city marked by fancy hotels, the palace stands out. It stands on 85 hercateres, 210 arcs of beautiful care for garden pa- space. The palace holds eight, 348 rooms and eight, 14 world-class restaurants for its guests. At 830 meters tall, Burj Khalif, Khalifa skyscraper in Dubai sets its record as the tallest building in the world. Unlike the Grand Mosque or Emirates Palace, Emirates Palace, Burj Khalifa is entirely modern. It stands for all that is possible for the future of Dubai. Another world-breaking landmark in Dubai is Palm Jumeirah, one of the world's largest human-made islands. From above, it looks like a palm tree. First built at an eighth wonder of the world, this tourist spot includes 4,000 houses, parks, and ski ski areas are common tourist spots in most places, but the fact that it, that they exist at this exist at all in the des- in this desert country makes them a landmark. For every world in Abu Dhabi is a lot is a huge indoor park. Visitors enjoy rides and drive small cars. Sky to buy in the first indoor ski area in the Middle East, skiers enjoy sloops covered with man-made shoes. <coughs> Conclusion A small nation of the desert of the Arabian Peninsula, the UAE is, is a booming country. Since the discovery of oil, the country has become rich. More people want to move there to work in this exciting industry. With so many people arriving, the culture has changed as well. Modern citizens are proud of their country's success. While still holding on to their Arabic past, the UAE will certainly continue to grow.